So, with these memories, with our Sheikah Slate upgraded, we can now start uh, saving our memories, as it were. But before we get to Empa, let's get into Kayako Village and let's use our Amiibo rune and see what we can get. The Amiibo rune is uh, a way for you to use any of your, uh, your your figurines to get items and whatnot. And if you use a Zelda item or a Zelda amiibo, you can get Zelda related items. But you have to use amiibo, you have to touch the in infrastructure of the thing, like but Bowser's Fury was. And you can actually use it to attack enemies if you wish. We got a Pona on the first try! Sweet! Right there was the uh, Smash Brothers Link amiibo. I got my my better horse. I got Epona. Oh great! Now I gotta get transfer her all the way over to a to a <laughs> to a place. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, that's new. Well then, I'm gonna have to transfer Epona over to. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get Epona on the first try. Usually that doesn't happen. <laughs> well now, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I now have to travel with Epona without any uh, enhancements to actually get her um, to get her around. So Epona again is only available through the Link Amiibos. Any Link Amiibo will actually summon her. But again, the Amiibo reward is random, and you can only use one five. You can only use five of them per day. So, so I'm actually glad that I've actually got Epona. Which means now we have a five-powered horse. Uh, Epona is technically one of the best horses in the game. Five, far none. Well, she, well it's a four-power horse. But we're gonna have to... We need to register her first. Then we can warp back to Impa and get some more good stuff of our memories. I was not expecting to get Epona, but hey, you know what? I guess now my horse will now be retired in favor of Epona. So... Yeah, so now it's now we're truly in Ocarina of Time HD now, buddy. Yes, indeed, folks. Finally, at long last. <laughs> but again, I can't, uh, I can't get around this. I have to go and get uh, back to the place and actually uh, get it registered. Uh, Epona cannot have her name changed, for the record. So, so you can't name her anything you want. If you want to rename her, you have to play Twilight Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like the only game where Epona really has the only way, the only time you can rename Epona, whatever you want. So that's interesting to boot. Now I really need to go and find that ancient armor. That way I can summon Epona at any time, any anywhere. <laughs> Which would be really nice. But the ancient armor for the horse is out in the south area, and we're nowhere near there. So let's go. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna be a little awkward that I'm heading back this way, but still. I got a horse! I got another horse! Also, Epona is actually, um... Actually at max uh, settings, or at max uh, affinity with her. So, she will never disobey you. My horse couldn't hear your call. You guys have a new steed! Yes, please! Gotcha! New horse? You sure this one's one? Yes, please. Not a problem. We can charge your registration fee to help you support our conservative efforts. Fee's also about 20 rupees. Yes, please. Thanks. Okay, please a name for your horse. Wait a minute. Isn't this a Pona, the horse of legend? What were you thinking? You can't rename a horse of legend. Pretty sure that's a law against that. So a Pona it is. Okay. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your horse out with you? Yes, please. All right, we'll take my horse into our care. So now he probably will now listen to our whistle. Sweetness! Wow, look at that. It's the orca. It's, I think it's Twilight. I think the uh, the bridle she gets is Twilight Princess's bridle and um, saddle, I believe. I do not think it's Ocarina of Times. Which it would be actually kind of a cool reference if it was Ocarina of Time. Uh, to be fair and honest. So let's just ride with her for a while. Because we need to go back up there. Until we get the ancient armor for the horse, uh, we're, we're going to have to rely on being close proximity to her in order to actually, you know, call her back. 
The ancient armor is actually a really nice thing, and I wish it was something that was part of the original game. But with the ancient armor, it makes, uh, makes for the horse teleport at will. So, yeah. That was uh, unexpected. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen around the borders, you know. Oh my, sorry, Pota. My bad. I did not mean you to run out of stamina. If you do make your horse run out of stamina, the horse will run a little bit slower and it won't recharge as fast. So, bear that in mind. But Epona is actually one of the fastest horses, too. So, yeah. Kind of nice, if you say so myself. Oh, I can't. Yeah, that's right. We're in the, we're in the Kariko village. Can't walk very fast with the horse on us. But hey, I was not expecting this. <laughs> but hey, you know what? I like it. I got a Pona. <laughs> it stinks that I know last session we got my horse and uh, we kind of were putting him into retirement. Uh, let's see. We got another amiibo. Why not? Ganondorf amiibo? What am I going to get from Ganondorf? A chest. And actually... I'm going to take a picture of said chest. That way I can, we can actually scan it. We get a lot of money from Ganondorf's, ch uh, Ganondorf's amiibo. Also arrows. I got arrows. Nice. And a lot and some 20 rubies. You get a lot of money from Ganondorf. I just want to put the thing down. Alright. I want to grab the arrows, but... Ooh, I got a nice claymore. Nice. Oh... It but it's sleeping yet because it's nighttime. No, I didn't want to. Mm, I want the arrows, please. Thank you. Your farming hose damaged. Yeah, sure. Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait by a fire. Leave fire till noon. Sweet! Most likely now, from every session from here on out, we're going to be using the Link and the Gandorf Amiibos to get some resources, as well as other runes. Empa! Huh. I heard Pera was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Locked mementos is complete. Now then, let me see. Uh, yeah, I got these images. You know what these are? Oh. Ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. Hmm. Uh. It could be that your visit to these locations within those within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back once you've tried going at least one of these locations. There is something I wish to give you. Hmm. So we're going to have to find a particular point in the map here. What do you got, man? Hmm. Are you... Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? Yes. As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me. I heard there's a giant, there's a giant fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Oh. Uh, test aesthetics aside, you also say the place can be still people with some kind of mysterious power. I've heard, I've been researching it for ages, but I finally have a lead. There's a place that's beyond suspicious. The problem is I can't seem to find the fountain there. <sighs> Nothing beats the thrill of tracking down a perfect view. As a fellow traveler, you understand the sentiment, right? Yeah, I understand. Oh, I knew it! And I just there was someone like me nearby who appreciates true beauty! Sadly, I can't pin down the exact location of the Great Fairy Fountain. I haven't put it all together yet, but there's a suspicious place I have my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sure, sounds cool. Great! Just what I expected from a fellow beauty connoisseur like you. Alright, follow me! 
Sure, but I'm gonna take my horse with me. You can run. I will run with my horse. Come on, Epona. Let's go. We'll keep up with him with this. Oh, yeah. There's our quest right there. Our starting quest. In order to get one of the shrines, that's another shrine that's here, you have to complete three side quests here. The one is with Cuckoos, and we'll get with him in a moment. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way, sir. I'm just taking a Pona everywhere. Because why not? Need to show her off. It is probably the most famous horse ever to know in the graces of the video game world. The opponent looks like you got in a bad hair day there. Look at that with the <laughs> with your hair stuck up like that. All right, let's go. And follow this old man up to the point. Oh, I want to talk. <sighs> so tired. Hills are easy for old foggies like me. Sorry, but I don't mind. I can go on. <sighs> The Great Fairy Fountain should be along the path that leads to the past of the shrine. <sighs> That's what I've been told, anyway. Yeesh, I can pretty out of breath. There's always something right about here. <sighs> I think I better go rest a bit. You're going ahead. And hey, if you find it, don't forget to take a picture. Take a picture, you say? Well, we'll just take it. We'll go along for the ride. Why not? Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a bloopy. No! Oh, I don't have my camera available right now. I don't have my camera ready. There is a quest later on that a Korok wants to see that picture. So. We come around here. We find great uh, fairies around us. But I ran too quickly and I lost the fairies. Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. Uh, sure. I'm a great fairy, Korra. Quartera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I am nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order to gain my power, sure. Here you go. Ah! Oh. Oh, well, that was that was scary. Thank you. You are too kind. Oh, the power is overflowing. This is our great fairy fountains. There are four in the entire world, and it's probably the most awkward character to play in Age of Calamity. Her fighting style is not the greatest, too. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after eternity of decay, it's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've returned to my former glory. As they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. At least I can do that. Ah. This power will be able to, should be able to enhance you a little bit. Sure, enhance away. So we can now enhance our tunics to a certain degree. As long as you have the materials needed. You don't need rupees. Well, you need rupees to unlock them. Or to unlock the fairy. But you don't need rupees to enhance your clothing. All you need is the materials. Oh, and you heard about set bonuses, right? How about a set of clothes that has been enhanced twice could have a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set. Well, not all sets have a bonus. Do you want me to enhance any more clothes? Sure. Enhance my pants. <laughs> mm. This is our easiest. We might as well have some extra defense. Why not? <sighs> Woo! Sweet! Now we're a little bit more defensive. We're not going to be dying like a twig anymore. Now we can die like a log. <laughs> okay, I don't have that possible right now. Come back when there's more power. See you later! Hmm. All right, perfect. But I would love to take a picture of this, please. Thank you. Oh, I need to grab those fairies. Blue nightshade, not bad. 
A fairy! This fairy will protect you from, from, well, protect you from your pouch and heal all your wounds for the moment you lose your last heart. It's easy to mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well as the night. Um, I think you can only pick up, I think, three or four fairies. Normally. But, given, given certain circumstances, you can potentially get, a, I think, as a fifth fairy, I believe. But in order to do so, you have to hang on to the fairies. Oh, the silent princesses are here. Take a picture of those, because you're going to need those. Alright, since we're already here, and I've got some weapons on hand, I want to grab a Pona, and we're going to head off to our first memory. It's within this, it's within this vicinity, so... Come on, Epona! Come hither! We're going to move this way. We could head back to Kayuko Village and give that man the picture. But we're going to go get our first picture here. We need to head down this way. Where we're going to head towards, folks, is over here. This is where we're headed. So our first memory is right over here. But first, we've got this to take care of. A Korok puzzle. I might as well grab as many seeds I'm going to get. Because yeah, upgrade inventory is definitely going to be needed. Hi, yeah. oh, you found me! Bye-bye! Sweet. Alright, move on, opponent. Let's go! Yeah. And right there is a... Uh, that is also a... That's a Yiga clan member right there. So if you want to attack it, you're more than welcome to. But we need to head... Yes, so we're going the right way. We're going to travel through with the, with the opponent as fast as we can because enemies in here are of the uh, blue and the black variety. Which means they are heftier, they are they deal more damage. Oh boy. We're just going to travel through here as fast as we can. I'd rather not get hit by these enemies here. There is a shrine here if we so choose to get it. Which is in that waterfall over there, so bear that in mind. Alright, we go. And now for the memories, I will be silent through the for the entirety of the memory. So bear that in mind. It's so to enhance it. In case I need to increase the audio of it later. We're just rushing through here. This is actually the fastest I've gone through this place because I usually don't come here with the with the, with the horse. So this is actually pretty convenient. But Epona, you're making this a lot easier on my part. Alright, here we go. Melina Road East Gate. This is technically like the last memory to un unlock. But if you'll find these glowing areas here, that will say a recall. So you can recall a memory. So again, folks, I will be silent when the memory starts. Ooh. I can remember this picture. It's right here. Hmm. Interesting. I feel something in my mind. Hmm. Don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? <laughs> so you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayu. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that... thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. 
But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think, when I think about. Stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get the Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. Ugh. 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 Goodness. Ugh. That's gonna feel awkward in the morning. Ugh. Sweet! Our first memory, that's right, folks. I want to be quiet through the whole memory. I feel like it enhances the, the cutscene in that regard. I did do that on my original run, too, and I figured I'd pay homage to that in some fashion. And thanks to, thanks to it being raining here, we'll have to come back here after it stops raining. We're gonna have to travel back to... Let's travel back to, um... Back to Kariko Village and see what Impa has in store for us from our first memory that we have captured. And we got our memories back. But don't worry. There is a... I'm gonna leave a marker here. That there's a shrine there. I'll remind myself of that. And also, the fact is, I'm gonna take this off, too. No, put it, don't stop! Oh boy. Well, if it, it looks like it will stop pretty soon. Nah, we'll wait for it. To, we'll get. Uh, we'll come back here when it's not raining. It seems like it's rained just because it was just a very sad memory. Oh goodness, Pepona, stop! Don't do that. <laughs> I know you've woken up from like a ten thousand year slumber, but goodness, <laughs> you need to calm down, Pepona. Let's go get those memories. Let's get let's get our uh, our reward for finding out our first memory, as you say. We'll talk to you. We'll get to you later, Ega Clan member. Don't you worry. We'll get to you later. You will soon die at the hands of the hero. Woo. Actually, a little bit of a fun fact with the um the two music tracks you can hear here. One of them is actually, uh, they're both slowed down versions of the Hyrule main theme. And, um, and, uh, Zelda's lullaby. But it's actually kind of a cool set piece. Really. You can't tell, because that's weird how they tell you, say, Well, we can't add any new music or use any old music. Oh, and it actually got reloaded there. There we go. Very, very mountain. Neither saw no rain, no hot, no lightning strike for me to swift compare to this self-appointed task. Oh, I found it! Uh, wait, you found it? Really? Are you serious right now? Yes. And if you are, then where's the picture? You remember to bring the picture, right? Uh, yeah. Here it is. Check this out. This, this is the Great Fairy Fountain? It's certainly beautiful, but I thought it'd be more sacred and elegant. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I wanted to give you something to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Uh, you recognize anything? How about this? I have which I've already found. 
So he'll tell you this how to find it, you know, in case you haven't found it yourself. So that's basically your reward for saying, hey, you have a memory that's close by? He'll be able to find you. And so find him at multiple different locations around the world, and he will basically tell you, hey, I've seen that place before. It's over here. You know, in that regard. That's not too bad either in my own, in my own end there. So, let's see. Let's go back and talk to Impa before this particular block ends on our in our session here. Well, not this, not the stream session, no, but the video part session will end pretty soon here. So, let's see about it. Let's see about Impa before that part ends. Uh, sorry, I'm not. I don't have any money right now. Sorry. It's also nighttime. I don't think she is she sleeping. She probably is. Nope, she's still awake. Ah. Now that you've seen some of the princess's memories, you may have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this to you now before I forget. So, getting after your first uh, memory, you do get the champion's tunic. It basically allows you to see the health bars of all enemies around you. Is this something of yours that I've been keeping safe by request of the princess? The clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Sweetness! Cool. Now we actually look at ourselves from the past. Awesomeness. With that said, let's see about doing some side quests, shall we? Let's go!